What's up guys, welcome back, Thorin CW here We're on Cyber Simulator today for the latest update, version 2.111 Before we get into the video, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button Help me on my road to 10,000 subscribers Please turn on the post notification bell with all notifications turned on So you don't miss any of my future videos, live streams and pick giveaways in various games including this one Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments I left Okay guys, so before we get into the video, I'm just going to show you what's been released on the website for this week's update. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see here, it does say latest update 141. We've got two times candy this week. We've got a new Halloween egg and pets in the update this week. Uh, it says we've got a new aura again this week, so we'll check that out and see what aura that is. Uh, it still says we've got 50,000 times crane boost in the game. And this bit here is uh, still left over from when it first got updated for the Halloween event. So the Halloween boss says new aura and new class. So these aren't supposed to be here. So the only things that's been added this week are these ones here. And that's the two times candy, the new egg with the nine new limited pets and the new aura in game. So now we know what we're looking at in game uh, guys for the update. We'll jump straight back in and check this out. Okay guys, we're back in the game. Now it did say that we've got a new aura in the crane shop today, but I just want to double check that we haven't got anything in the shop here. So as you can see, the current sabers are still the skeletal blade. We've not had no new sabers for the last couple of weeks. The DNA, we've got the blue phantom still, which is the last one that they put in quite a while back. Hopefully we do get some more DNAs shortly. And as you can see, the skeletal class is the maximum class at the current time. So nothing has been uh, released in the shop guys. So we'll just jump over to the crane shop here and check out what aura is in the shop. Okay guys, so as you can see here, uh, the aura that was released last week was Mystic. And this week's aura is the Red Mystic. And as you can see, you get 38.5 times strength, 15.8 times shield and uh, health. We get 12.1 times coins and we get 8.4 times run speed. And this does cost 54.043 capital S crowns. So we'll buy that now. So that's equipped. Uh, anything new in the pet auras? Nope. So there's no new pet auras at the moment, unfortunately. So it's just the red mystic for our avatars. Now, it did, uh, it did say on the website that we've actually got double candy. So I'm just going to double check this because when we actually kill the boss, um, we get obviously what the health is. So the boss is 3,000 at the moment, so I should technically get um, 6,000 from killing this boss. So let's just kill this boss and have a look. See if it is uh, actually double candy this week. And then we can actually go have a look at the new egg and check that out, how much it costs, and start hatching and see if we can get all the pets um, from that egg this week. Fingers crossed um, I can get uh, the pets relatively quick like last week and not use many of the candy and that allows me to save the candy for a possible egg for next week which will actually be uh, close to halloween so um as you can see guys i've just done over half damage and we have actually got three thousand just over three thousand candy um so the double um candy week is actually active so we are going to be getting uh, the six thousand for killing the boss so let's just uh kill this boss and get an additional 6,000 uh, candy and that should uh, take me up to 2.205 mil so fingers crossed anyway and then we can as, as I said we can go over and have a look at the new egg see what the egg costs and what pets we can get from that egg and as I said hopefully get them relatively quickly um, and not use too many of the candy but if we do thankfully it is a double candy week um, so we can actually get the candy um, hopefully a lot quicker Okay guys, so um, as you can see there's the new egg over here So we had the first egg here which was 250 Last week's egg which was uh, 500 And this week's egg guys is 1000 candy So as you can see we've got um, 9 pets in here ranging from our 1 star to our triple moon um, Now this pet here um, the silhouette makes the pet look like a new pet that's been designed because that silhouette I don't actually recognize from any of the other islands that I've actually uh, hatched the pets on so it'll be interesting to see if that is actually a new pet or if it is a carryover 
so when i do actually manage to get all these i will double check obviously the um pet index here and see if there is any pet similar to that but i am hoping there is a new pet that's been added into the game okay guys so um what i'm going to do i'm going to be doing a time lapse video while i hatch this uh, egg because i don't know how long it's going to take me to get all these um pets so i'm just going to turn all of these on so i actually get all the pets in my inventory now as i said hopefully it doesn't take that long to get these because i am still trying to get the triple moon pet from the first egg which i didn't have much luck uh, unfortunately when after spending 1.4 million candy on there um last week's egg i managed to get them all with spending about 200,000 maybe 300,000 um candy so that was relatively quick so i am hoping that i can do the same thing on this one this week because then i can utilize some of the candy i got to try and get the triple moon pet on there and then save the candy for a possible fourth egg that will be coming out next week now being that this has gone from 250 to 500 to a thousand being that it's actually doubled uh, every week potentially the new egg next week if we do get one it could potentially be 1500 candy personally i hope they only add 250 candy on there uh, making it 1250 but be prepared that they may actually do a 1500 I can't see them doubling it to 2,000, um, but you can never guarantee. So uh, work on 1,250 possible, um, but the worst case scenario would be 1,500 or could be double, which would be 2,000. So if you are going to be looking at um, hatching that egg next week, try and save um, enough candy. But personally, I would actually concentrate on this egg when all the eggs are out if you are looking to try and get all the pets for your pet index uh when you do get all the pets if you concentrate on here it's only 250 so you're going to have a lot more chance of getting some decent pets from here because you'll be able to get um a lot more for your candy that you've got than you would do for hatching the 500 or 1000 or next week's egg so if you are trying to get some decent pets uh, this these pets here won't be that far off the other three uh, these two and possibly the third one next week so this would be the your best option to actually hatch guys so hopefully uh, you do get something decent from now uh, once you do start hatching that if you are trying to get all these pets for your uh, pet index okay guys so i'm going to speed up the video now while i'm hatching and hopefully get all these fairly quickly and then i'll slow the video down once i get all the nine pets from this new egg so I'll be right back once to get all the nine pets, guys. Okay guys, so I've slowed the video down. Uh, as you can see, I've managed to get all nine pets, um, thankfully. Uh, unfortunately, it has actually took me um, nearly, nearly 800,000 uh, candy to actually get all the pets. But thankfully, I've got all nine. Um, now, as I said, I will be looking at using a little bit of this to try and get the triple from there, just so I've got all the Halloween uh, pets um and then hopefully save enough for the next week's uh egg so what we're going to do guys we're going to be going through all of the pets now the names and the stats so first of all uh let's go down here so you can see i've actually got quite a few pets that i've uh, been hatching so the first pet that uh, we're going to be looking at guys is this one here um and as i said this one i don't recognize this pet itself so it may be a new pet in game but i will actually check the pet index so this one here is called the Pumpkin Spider. This one will give you 79,650 strength and coin boost. And a crane boost of 3,205. Following that we do have the uh, two star pet. Which is the Pumpkin Sorcerer. And this pet will give you 93,588.75 strength and coin boost. And a crane boost of 3,255. Following that we do have the three star pet which is this one here. And this is Witch of Halloween. This pet will give you 109,966.78 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 3,305. Now for a three star pet, 
it's been a long time waiting, but uh, we've actually got that now. We're starting out of 100,000, so pretty decent stats for new players uh, to start with and help them out. So following that, we do have our first four-star pet, and that is called the Pumpkin Undead. This pet will give you 129,210.97 strength and coin boost, and a coin boost of 3,355. Our second four-star pet is the Pumpkin Spooky Ghost. This pet will give you 151,822.89 strength and coin boost, and a coin boost of 3,405. Pet number six, which is our five star pet, is the Pumpkin Angel, and this pet will give you 178,391.89 strength and coin boost, and a coin boost of 3,455. Now, if you get this one to void, uh, you will actually be looking at um, some nice stats um, for a low um percentage pet that you can actually get so 4.71 percent to get this pet you can actually get a decent um, amount of uh stats because obviously you can get this um tripled so not bad at all and then when you do get this up to void and it's tripled get that up to level 100 and that'll actually double the um amount that you've actually got so not bad for a starting pet for uh, new players or people that are actually struggling with the islands Following that, guys, we are on to our moon pets. So the first moon pet, as you can see, I've got quite a few uh, singles here. This is called the Pumpkin Witcher. This pet will give you 209,610.47 strength and coins boost. Crown boost of 32,600. Now I've got a few of these um, to combine. So I'm just going to combine them individually, just so obviously I can uh, see how many I'm doing and then how many I've actually hatched. So, because I did actually see a couple of goldens, so that's a third golden I've made, the fourth, and okay, so as you can see, so I've made four goldens, and I've actually hatched four goldens, so that's not bad at all. So, when you do get the pumpkin which are up to golden, the stats on that pet will be 314,415.7 strength and coin boost, and a coin boost of 48,900. So, pretty decent to be honest. Following that, guys, we do have the uh, double moon pet the egg um, and I think I just had standard ones I don't think I actually got um, a golden no I didn't okay so the standard ones here guys which does actually resemble the gift explosion from uh, one of the Christmas events so as you can see here, it says pump explosion so this is actually the gift explosion uh, reused just obviously change the name and instead of presents it's pumpkins so it is a, a pet that we've had previously um, but they do actually look uh, pretty decent. This pet will give you 531,500 strength and coin boost, and a coin boost of 64,750. So, not bad at all, to be honest. And finally, guys, we do actually get the Trip Moon pet, which is up here. So, last week's uh, Trip Moon pet was 939,500. This week's Trip Moon pet is actually going to be. 969,500 strength and coin boost and a coin boost 69,250 and that is called the pumpkin queen so not a bad looking pet to be honest now as i said it did take me um 800,000 um candy to actually get it hopefully you guys uh, managed to get it um a lot quicker than me uh because as i said it does actually take quite a bit of candy for me unfortunately so i'm going to equip these moon pets now guys just to see what they look like so the first moon pet, which is the single moon pet, this is the pumpkin witcher. So this is what the pumpkin witcher looks like, and as you can see, um, an okay looking pet to be honest. So I do, I do actually like that, and you've got your little um, horns coming off it, and you've got some little uh, horns coming off the front as well. So from the front, it just looks like he's got a halo, uh, but when you come here, it is two lots of horns. So, not a bad looking pet. So, I'll take that one off. We'll have a look at the uh, double moon pet, which is this one here. And I said this is a um, copy of the gift explosion from one of the Christmas events. So, this one is usually uh, a little bit big. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, gift explosion that's been renamed now to pump uh, pumpkin explosion. And as you can see, um, pretty big pet. You've got your eyes here for the pet. Uh, obviously like a nuclear bomb that's uh, gone off within the pet itself 
and you've got all the pumpkins just uh, dotted around, which as I said, it's uh, just um, the presents that's been changed to pumpkins. But as you can see, pretty decent pet to be honest. So not bad at all. Okay guys, so now we're going to be looking at the Trip Moon Pet. So I'll just take that one off. So the Trip Moon Pet is just up here. And this is the Pumpkin Queen. So let's equip that one. And as you can see, it's just uh, appeared on the right hand side. And this is what the Pumpkin Queen looks like. So pretty decent sized pet. We've got uh, obviously the skulls within the wings and some skulls uh, sitting on top of the wings itself. From the front, uh, it's obviously just a like standard goldish colour, and the eyes are obviously sparkling. But then when you go behind, the wings actually are quite uh, bright and yellow, so it stands out a lot more from behind. But as you can see, pretty decent pet. Now, when this does get to void evolution, I uh, the the actual skulls I believe are just going to get lost within the actual uh, void colour, which is a shame because you want stuff like that to actually stand out. So it's a shame that these want um, a different colour and then when it does get to Void Evolution they stay that colour because then even though the pet is Void um, Variant Black you'd still have these skulls actually standing out because when you get stuff like this on the, the pet you want it to actually always be present but unfortunately when it gets to Void Variant um, unfortunately everything just gets lost in the, uh, the black uh, pet colour so hopefully they do uh, start adding some colour into those voids and as I said if these skulls were uh, say like white and then when this did get to void evolution you have the four skulls still white it make the pet stand out a lot lot more so um, and as you can see the pumpkin queen has got a, a little queen on top of her head as well so not a bad looking pet to be honest so that's all the uh, moon pets from this new egg so as I said, it did uh, take me just under or just over eight uh, hundred thousand uh, candy to get all nine pets, and the worst one was the triple moon pet. That one took uh, quite a long time. I think I was actually in for about ten or twelve minutes. So uh, I think this week, the last week, I think I hatched about six minutes. Uh, this week was ten minutes. This one I hatched so long and I didn't get it. It was uh, ridiculous. But I'm going to try and get this uh, hopefully this week. But okay um but hopefully next week's egg won't be double um the candy and it may only be 1250 with our fingers crossed but potentially it could be 1500 or even 2000 if they decide to double it uh but being that we've got the times two candy this week guys we can actually concentrate on uh killing the boss and getting the times two candy now um what i would say is if you do join a public server and you are looking at killing the boss to try and get um, quite a lot of candy because obviously every person that is in the server the boss health usually goes about 1500 now if you are in a full server and you're the only one that's actually hitting the uh, the boss it's uh, beneficial to be in a public server because you're going to get a lot more um, candy for the boss itself but if you are in a public server and there's multiple people hitting it and you're not getting many um, candy from the boss, if you know anyone that's got a private server and they can log on and maybe say AFK or if they do something else and you concentrate on hitting the boss, you're going you're to get the full amount of candy. So it's beneficial to find out which server you're going to get the most candy from, whether it's a public or a private now, I have joined some publics and managed to get um, just a little bit more than what a private server is. But then I have joined other public servers where everyone's been hitting the boss because they want the candy. And I've walked away with about 2,000, maybe 3,000 candy. Um, so it's the same as what I would have done in a, a private server. So you just need to weigh out the pros and cons on how, how much candy you're going to get for what server you want to go into. So probably a... Uh, private server may be more beneficial if everyone in a public is attacking the boss but if you are lucky enough to get in a server full of 20 people and you're the only one uh, attacking the boss use it as much as you can and get as much candy as you can from there before anyone else starts hitting the boss okay guys so that's everything from this new uh, update this week now i'm just gonna recap what we've got here so we've got the new uh, 1000 candy egg with the nine pets 
We've got the times two candy that we can get from the boss and obviously uh, picking up around um, the map itself. We've got our new aura in the shop, which is the red mystic. And as you can see, got some pretty decent uh, stats uh, increase. I know they only go up uh, like 0.5 um, and 0.2 and 0.1 and 0.1 for obviously the run speed. But the more you having the auras for your avatar and the pets, you're going to get um, more uh, crowns from the boss and more run speed. And utilize this week as much as possible for the times two candy. But um, everything that I've just said, obviously the update um, is pretty decent this week. Um, unfortunately, we don't have new sabers, um, but it does give a lot of people the chance to actually um, get the sabers to get classed up while we're not actually having new sabers. Um, but all being well, we will start getting some more sabers uh, after the Halloween event or potentially maybe get some next week as well. Okay guys, so before I do end the video there, I just want to say once again, if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Help me on my road to 10,000 subscribers. Please turn the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out on my future videos, live streams and pay giveaways in various games including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. And if you enjoyed the video today guys and found it helpful knowing what's in the new egg and what the stats are, Please smash that thumbs up button to see if we can get about a thousand likes or more in today's video. But for now guys, that's it for this video and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe guys and peace out.